Pristine trails like this are often taken for granted and could quite possibly be impassable if it weren't for Nanaimo Parks and Rec, along with students from John Barsby who are getting in touch with nature. This year, John Barsby decided to offer a new course called Greenscapes, so basically to get students some hands-on skills in horticulture, landscaping, and also understand a bit about the ecosystems that are around us. Being out in the colliery dam allows us a chance to learn about the native species and also about invasive species and how they impact them. An invasive plant is a plant that's destroying all the native species and it's taking over, it's spreading out more. It kills all the other plants. It kind of chokes them out. They're really connecting with the natural environment and they're starting to learn what the plants are around them and they're starting to really, I think, get an appreciation of just outdoors, which I think is so crucial right now with their students. Non-native species were introduced years ago, but there are two particular types here at the Colliery Dam that the group is focusing on. Daphne is um, a round-shaped plant. It's an invasive species and same with the ivy that's growing all over the trees. It's fun and um, it's like when you pull out the plants, it, there's bigger ones and small ones that are easy and hard. I really enjoy it because I think it's going to help the forest a little bit more. If you look really closely, all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of them, right? Landscaping's hard work, right? So having the perseverance they do it and they stick with it is just, that's, I mean, that's a good work skill for anybody to have to just, you know, whatever you're doing, you have to give it your all and not complain and go for it. And so that's definitely a skill they're getting out here. Some days, you know, it's been snowing, it's been raining and they've still been doing their thing. So that's been a really important skill for them to learn. And plus just being able to know more about their natural environment here has been really good. I think it's tiring after a while, but we go around the trails, mostly on the edge and getting back, pulling as much as we can each day. Sometimes we, can, or we compete with one another and we, challenge each other by seeing who could pull it the most and fastest, who could gather the most. When we're done at the end of the time, it's amazing that how much we've pulled out. We've been out here since February, once a week, and we'll continue right until the end of June. Can you go get stuff just behind Chris there, Avery? The kids have really responded well to it and they really seem to enjoy it and I've been really happy that it's been able to connect us with the city as well. If you'd like to blaze a trail free of invasive plants, contact Eileen Bossons at Parks and Rec. In Nanaimo for Shaw TV, I'm Melissa Hall.